This is Module 5, Lesson 16. In this lesson, we'll be using visual models to add and subtract fractions with the same units. Let's look at a simple subtraction problem. 5 meters minus 4 meters equals 1 meter. So we could say this subtraction is in unit form as we're specifying the meters. The same way we could say five ones minus four ones equals one one. Or if we're talking about fractional units, <clears throat> five six minus four six equals one sixth. So all of those are written in unit form. We could show this also as a number sentence. 5 6 minus 4 6 equals 1 6. We can also show it on a number line. <clears throat> so we have 0 and 1. We're going to divide it into 6. We're starting at 5, 6, and we're taking away 4, 6. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, and we end up at 1, 6. Let's look at a different one. <clears throat> In unit form, 10, 6, take away 2, 6. equals 8, 6. In number form, or as a number sentence, 10, 6, take away 2, 6, equals 8, 6. And now if we look at the difference we get, we see our numerator is greater than our denominator, which tells us this number is greater than 1. So we can decompose it into the whole number part and the fractional part, and we could rewrite it as 1 and 2 6. And we call this a mixed number. Mixed meaning that it's got whole numbers and fractional parts. We can do the same thing with addition. Let's say we have a number sentence of 1, 6 plus 4, 6. We can write it out as a unit form, 1, 6 plus 4, 6. And since both the units are the same, we add how many we have, and we have 5, 6. And we can write that on our number sentence as 5, 6. We can also show addition on a number line. Again, we're going to divide it into 6. This start time we're starting at 1, 6. And we're going forward 4, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we end up on 5, 6. So 1, 4, 1, 6 plus 4, more 6, we end up with 5, 6. <clears throat> and again, we can look at addition, where our sum is going to be greater than 1. So if we have four, 5 fourths plus 2 fourths, we'd end up with 7 fourths. And as a number sentence, and here we have a number that's greater than 1, so let's decompose it into its whole number part and its fractional part. So we can write this as a mixed number, 1 and 3 fourths. So 
5 four fourths plus 2 fourths equals 7 fourths, which equals 1 and 3 fourths. Let's do some problems in our problem set. <clears throat> For number one, we're going to solve using units. So pause the video and do A through D. So we have two fifths, two fifths, one half, and three fourths. Our units are the same, and we're just subtracting the number of units that we have. So for 2a, we have 5 6, take away 3 6. So just like in number 1, our units are the same. They're just written in number sentences now instead of in unit form. So we still have 6, and we started with 5, and we took away 3, so now we have 2 left. <clears throat> Try B through F. So B, we have, we're talking about eights. We had six, we took away four, we have two left. Here we're talking about tenths. We started with three, we took away three, so now we have nothing. Zero. In this one, we're talking about fifths. We had five fifths, we took away four, now we have one. Here we're talking about force. We had five force. We took away four. We have one left. And again, talking about force. We had four, five. We took away two, three. Now we have two. <clears throat> okay, moving on. In these, we're going to end up with a difference that's greater than one. And then we're going to decompose it into a mixed number. So the first one's been done for you. Our unit is eights. We had 12, we took away three, so we have nine left. Nine decomposes into eight eighths, which is one, and one eighth, so our mixed number is one and one eighth. Stop the video and try B. So here our units are six, 12 take away five is seven. We can decompose this into six six and one six and as a mixed number, one and one sixth. Try C. Here our unit is fifths. We had nine, we took away three, now we have six left. This decomposes into five fifths and one fifth, so it's one and one fifth. For D, our unit is eighths. We had 14, we took away three, now we have 11. That decomposes into eight eighths and three eighths, which is one and three eighths. Try E. E, our unit is force. We had eight, we took away two, we have six. That decomposes into four force and two force, which is one and two force. And finally F. Try that one. Here our unit is tenths. We had 15, we took away three, we have 12 left. That decomposes into 10 tenths and two tenths, which is one and two tenths. <clears throat> Moving on, we're gonna do the same type of problems, but with addition instead of subtraction. So pause the video and try A and B for number four. Two-fourths plus one-fourth would be three-fourths in unit form. B, we had four-fifths, we added three-fifths, so now we have seven-fifths. Pause the video and try five. A and B. So here we have the same thing except written in as number sentences instead of unit form. We had two eighths, we added five eighths, so now we have seven eighths. And here we have twelfths. Four plus four twelfths plus five twelfths is nine twelfths. For six, 
We're going to do the same thing we did for subtraction in that if our sum is greater than 1, we're going to decompose it and rewrite it as a mixed number. The first one's done for you. 2 fifths plus 4 fifths is 7 fifths, which decomposes into 5 fifths and 2 fifths, which we write as a mixed number as 1 and 2 fifths. Pause the video and try B. So for B, our unit is force. We had 4 plus 3 more is 7. That decomposes into 4 fourths and 3 fourths, which is equal to 1 and 3 fourths. <clears throat> Pause the video and try C. Our units is ninths. We had 6 plus 6 is 12. Decomposes into 9 ninths and 3 ninths, or 1 and 3 ninths. Try D. For D, our units are tenths. We started with 7, we added 6, so we have 13 tenths. Decomposing it, we end up with 1 and 3 tenths. Try E. Units are sixths. We had 5, we added 7, so we have 12 6, and we can de decompose this into 6 6, and we have another 6 6, so we have 1, 2, so our mixed number is a 2, 2 holes. Try F. For F, our units are 8, 9 plus 5 is 14. We can decompose this into 8 eighths and 6 eighths, so we get 1 and 6 eighths. Pause the video and try A using a number line. Okay. <clears throat> so we see we have 7 fourths. Well, we know 4 fourths is 1. So that would mean 8 fourths is 2, and each of the holes is divided into fourths. So this would be 7 fourths, and we're going to take away 5 fourths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we end up on 2 fourths. Try B. So for B, we're going to have a similar number line. Since 5 fourths is greater than 1, we have to show 1 and we have to show 2. We're going to divide this into fourths. And we're starting at 5 fourths. And we're going forward 2. So we're going to end up at 7 fourths. And that concludes Lesson 16.